Okay. I know you're so nervous. I know you're nervous. You're okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm going to be able to brush through this like the comb needs to come through. It's too tight, so make sure we're brushing all the way through like that. So the comb can run through there.
No. No, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. No. Let me see. Let me see. Ah, ah, ah. No. 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 Ah, ah, ah. 
no, 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 we're not doing that. We're not doing that. You need to chill. 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 <laughs> You're okay. Stay there. You don't know what's going on. We're not messing with your feet yet. Leave your feet alone for now. See the muzzle, he can bite through the muzzle here. It's just to try to get him to think that he should not bite. That's, what, that's all it's there for right now. No.
down. Down. Where? Come here. Good. Good. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Come. Come. Good. Down, down, down. I really want to dry your whole body. Down. Hey you guys, thanks for watching Dee Dee with My Favorite Groomer. I have allergies and I've basically lost my voice a little bit, so... Um, this is Fluffy. He was referred to me by Watauga Animal Hospital. He's an aggressive dog groom. When he walked in, his mom is sitting outside waiting for us um, because it's an aggressive groom that's been turned away from over two different places. So, first place he had a really damaged red eye. That was uh, one of the box places. Then she said, okay, I'm just going to go to my veterinarian for the eye thing. And then she was like, do you guys groom? So the next groom she did at her veterinarian. And they were like, he's aggressive. So she scheduled her next appointment. And they called her and said, hey, it's, try Dee Dee. You know, he's too aggressive. So that's, um, he's come in. He did good with me, right? Really good. This is our first groom. I didn't talk at all. I kept the energy neutral, very low. I was studying his energy the whole time. He's very anxious. Look at him. Worried if I make a noise, he's freaking out. Energy wise, anxiety is very high. So, no talking. I told mom, no talking. Uh, love with your energy. You still love each other, just no talking. Not until you can learn to talk with the monotone. Um, here at the salon, I mean. The dog is high sprung, high strong, high sprung. Um, look at him. He loves to do the perch. Some dogs do that. When you do, when you, um, when you uh, pick up a dog when they do perch, then they'll do it forever. So we don't want him to learn that here. Um, he does perch, and I have to hold him. It's heavy on my wrist. If I did that with every dog, um, it would take its toll over, over the years of grooming. So I love the perch. It's so cute. But I use a bottle to help me help them perch themselves up if they want to do the perch thing. He did great. I'm going to send him home damp this time. I'm not going to blow dry him. We did so good for the grooming. I don't want to push it over the edge in the sense of drive him nuts with a blow dryer. I'm sure at other places we meet, we, they may have done uh, cage drying. We don't do that here. And I wouldn't want to sit him in front of a cage for two hours and dry him. That will cause serious anxiety. So he got a great haircut. He, uh, When I first went down to pick him up, he was worried, timid, 
and he growled. He was like, rrr, rrr, and I said, okay, I had to, I said, mom, I'm going to have to disconnect the energy between you and the dog. So I had to blow my nose because I have allergy issues right now. So I took him to the bathroom with me to blow my nose. I shut the door. I had my own leash so he wouldn't get out of his own collar, pulling away from me and to the mom. Mom, I disconnected her, had her go sit in the lobby. She can hear everything we're doing. Um, she's waiting because uh, you guys know um, serious aggressive dogs parent assist might have to happen. So again, we're not recap. We're not going to blow dry this time. Yeah, baby, you're doing so good. He's high anxiety. This will help with that. Next time we'll try to blow dry her real lightly. I've hoped to see her in three to four months. Regular appointments are needed. Walking outside at home is a big deal. He needs to hear street stuff. He needs to hear. He needs to be on a very tight leash or collar or just a slip lead. And if you need anything, please go to my website, myfavoritegroomer.com, contact me, order online. Um, he needs to be brushed regularly. He needs to hear the street stuff because of the anxiety. He needs to hear like cars driving by. He needs to get over that, okay? And, and good walking, good leadership will lead to that. Um, I'm gonna put him on the table just to do a tiny bit of touch up. Anytime you're grooming wet hair, it's not really great for your tools, but this is what we do here. This is what I do, so. We have to touch up some of it with, not with the clippers, but with the, with the shears, um, with scissors. He did really good. Um, I was telling you, I, I went to the bathroom with him to blow my nose to give him time to kind of watch me. And then I sat down on the floor, or no. So in the bathroom, he came up to me and hid behind me like he hides behind his mom. Because I wasn't doing nothing with him. I didn't even talk to him. I just put him on the lead, the slip lead, took him away from mom, went to blow my nose. And he was fighting me the whole time. I didn't say a word to him. I just we were work. I I just went to work to blow my nose, and blow my nose. Come back out. Mom had to blow her nose, so I brought her some tissue, and um, brought him back into the bath bath area. Shut the door, and sat down on the floor with him, and just got him in my. I didn't talk to him. Just pulled and forced pulled him into my lap, which he jumped right in, and just loved on him. Just touched him, and um, I didn't talk to him at all. It was all energy. And then I picked him up. We went and looked at the computer. I like picked, you know, we did some other stuff. We didn't go straight to the groom table. And then, hi baby, come here, come here, come here, come here. Hi, yeah, oh, don't jump, don't jump. Yeah, so we didn't go straight to the table. Once we did, I did muzzle him because I've never met him before, you never know. The muzzle was so loose, he could have. To they can always bite through the muzzle. Just know that. I don't care how tight the muzzle is, they can bite through it. So it was just um, giving him a st stabilizer. Don't jump. See, we don't want him doing that, right? We don't want to train him jump and be picked up. But um, might as well let you guys see him on camera because he's come a long way in just 40 minutes with me. So, and he didn't try to bite me. He did. He wanted to in the very beginning of not the grooming, but. When I went to, you know, grab his leash, he was like, Rrr, and I was like, oh, okay, he's nervous before we even get started. All he needed was just some patience, so. Thank you for watching My Favorite Groomer on YouTube. Talk to you later. He's in love now. <laughs> he's in love. I gotta love her now. We're gonna just do some touch-up, okay? Shh, shh. Mm. You're okay. Put your foot down.
<laughs> this is leave-in conditioner. So the stuff, it's awesome. Infected. I mean, that's why he's acting like that. Slightly. That's why he's acting, pulling away like that. <coughs> Real subtle. No, no, that's why he's acting like that. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to leave him alone. I'm going to brief mom on it, though. These allergies are kicking my butt, dude. <clears throat> no, no. Keep that. Okay, thank you for watching.